grade nines and tens in art at the moment, we're doing a unit of work called um, Power and Persuasion. So we're looking at um, how art can be powerful, whether or not it should be. And if artists have um, any kind of social responsibility, any obligation to society to incite change. One of the artists that we've, looked, we've been looking at is Barbara Kruger, whose work we've seen here at the Hirshhorn, uh, one of her installations. And Barbara Kruger uses the, the text of, of contemporary consumer society to question that same society, um, that appropriation of using a text from a, a system to criticize that system is a term that's been in use since the 1950s um, called detournement. Um, and it's, it's really a kind of subversion. Another artist who's been a few years ago was named Art Forum's most powerful people of the year um, is Ai Weiwei, a Chinese artist and activist and dissident who, who has encountered a lot of trouble in China. There's a big exhibition of his work, a collection of, of a lot of his work from, from his whole career, really, um, here at the Hirshhorn, and students are having a look. I wouldn't say an obligation. It doesn't always have to have that out of yourself purpose, objective. But when it, I guess it come, when it comes down to it, when it comes to a situation where something terrible is going on or something unjust is going on, then perhaps there is that obligation.